Uh, how's it going, guys? Well, this is a uh, hot helium 20 inch stick, a uh, modern review. So, pretty much, I ended up getting the four stick pack. I uh, believe I got them on Amazon. It was like a hundred dollar deal. So, first thing I did though is right when I got them, I could not take these suckers apart. Like, not at all. So every single one of these, I had to get in there and take a knife and just slowly just shave it out. Each one. And uh, until they actually stuck together and were able to come off without struggling. But in the process, I ended up breaking one of these off. And uh, that was like right when I first bought them, taking them apart. So the one that I did break off, that is now my top stick, which will always be on the bottom of the rack. But when I first got them, they came with these daisy straps. And I'm just going to say, fuck that. Uh, nothing against Hawk. Uh, when you're 20 feet in the air, 30 feet in the air, and your life is on the line, and you don't have any cell phone service, I want something more than to just having to fall on the next loop. So, that being said, I uh, went ahead, got some Am Steel. I got about 50 feet of quarter inch in total. And 50 feet was just enough. Like, here's an example. That is literally all that's left over out of uh, a 50 foot length. And every single one of them has a weighted end, self buried. And then all of them are at least, at least, six to seven inches of uh, buried like the prime example that right there that one's probably about eight or nine inches but doing that never come out this rope will snap at the end of the berry or snap on the back side before this thing ever slips out and i mean geared up and everything maybe 200 pounds climbing up a tree and I mean I'm 165 between my backpack everything yeah so after shaving off all these damn little buttons um, getting them to where I'm not fighting them at the base of a tree or 5 10 15 feet in the air shave those out and then took everything apart and put on that uh, stealth strip camo. I went a little above and beyond, laid it on each one, front and back, the legs, the teeth. I mean, I did everything. You don't have to. That's just me. Um, and I did it just for the sole purpose of blending in, you know, the camo not sound not anything other than than just blending in um started off with the quarter inch jam steel i did about a inch and a quarter to a two inch loop i mean and that fits pretty snug uh all of my line is uh no less than eight feet you know, I think, um, I don't I didn't measure everything, but no less than eight feet. Um, yeah, everything was a, like I said, six to eight inch berry. Um, at the end of the weight, I went ahead and added a bungee. And you'll see why later. But... After that, I went ahead and did a, I was going to do a single step aider for just the bottom two steps, but figured I'd, I had more. 
during the late season, a lot of the trees start to go bare. I need to get higher up. So that gives me the option of 20 and 30 feet, um, just with four sticks. And yes, that's doable. Uh, you can see this is how I packaged them up as far as when I'm carrying them in. Uh, everything is figurated and then self-buried. The aiders, unfortunately, my Carbon Express Arrow is uh, too thick of a diameter to fit inside of this uh, 3 sixteenths aider. So what I ended up doing is after figure 8 locking it, instead of self bearing or even just leaving the tag end out, I went ahead and just braided it, tucked it right back into the lead line, did that probably about nine or ten times, and left less than, I mean, I buried as much as I could on it, weaving it in and out, and then I took heat shrink, and put that over it. So ended up, again, everything's figurated. And then I went ahead and did a Brummel lock on this one. And then for the other side, what you got to do is you got to take the steps off. You feed the loop through it. And then you wrap the loop around the whole leg. Cinch it tight. Got another Brummel lock. Bolt everything back up. Feed it from up behind. And wrap it around the top button. Now when I did that... everything i did my i did my loop first tied it on and everything then by hand i just went up put it right to the top like that and spread my hands out and then led the line right back down and then factored a additional nine ten inches and that was for the it was like a two inch loop and then braided it all. So everything's nice and tight. I wrap everything up like that. I wrap my cord around the bursa button, cinch it tight. And then I take the bungee, wrap it around. It also helps just to keep everything nice and tight, no string flopping, doesn't get caught on anything. And then my top three steps, and I'm going to figure out a more efficient way to do this one. But just took some bungees, looped them in, that way when I'm climbing the tree, my first one I'll always pull off, I'll wrap that one right at a chin height. And then I'll take my other one, I'll put that on my left side of my my harness and then I'll set these two on the right side of my harness and pretty much that's it climb up the tree with those um, generally when I do it get to my top step I like to stand on the bottom one I'll go ahead and set the base roughly level with my Versa to where it's it's half a step that way when I go ahead and cam it in I mean I've never had this kick out on me like this. I, I, I'll never go another way. Those cam cleats like these great, especially this brand. Don't get some cheap plastic ones on Amazon that, that you find for like 12 bucks. Get, get the expensive ones. Um, but these are only good for actual like nylon rope, you know, um, tree rope, climbing rope. Uh, the fact that this hollow cord, like, absolutely not. Not unless you self-bury it. If you self-bury it, you could probably get away with that. But I'd like to, I'd like to make it home to my family. You know. Um, but yep, this is 
my Hawk Helium mod from my climbing sticks. Um, all together, I mean, the, the things don't, they're weightless. Weightless. Um, I've used these hanging my quick game stand. I've used these hanging my hawk stands. Uh, I've climbed off of them and, and saddle hunted off of them. Just right off the top step. Uh, these, these sticks are efficient for the price. You can't beat it. Um, yeah. So these are my Hawk Helium climbing sticks. The 20 inch. This is the Step Aider single step. With the quarter inch am steel rope mod um, yeah if you like this video uh, you know like share subscribe and I will catch you guys on the next one